Okay, good morning everyone. Shalom Aleichem. Baruch HaMavam. We're continuing in Mishabura Daf HaShavua. Thank you, Rabbi Yeager, for giving the Baruch last couple of days. We're in the middle of Simen Tzadi Tess. We're up to the Rama in Sif Aleph. We're learning the Halachos of a drunk for Tefillah for Shemana Esrei. The Mechaber said that if somebody drank wine or a vias, he should not daven until the, the effects of the wine are removed. And if you drank more, so if you could be medaber l'fnei hamelech, then if you daven, your tefillah is a tefillah. And if you can't daven, then uh, your tefillah is a toyeva, and you need to daven again when the effects of your alcohol have been removed. Now, I want to correct myself because Last time we saw the Mishnah Brunus of Katan Hay who said that when a person davens when they're drunk that their tefillah is a toyeva, the Mishnah Brunus added that it's also considered like you served Avodah Zarah. So I understood it that by definition, toyeva means Avodah Zarah and therefore applied it to somebody who davens if they have to use the bathroom. However, I don't think that's correct. Um, by Shikr, the Gemara has an explicit limud. A, it's a toyeva, and B, it's like your Oyvid Avid Zara. By someone who damas when they have to go to the bathroom, the Gemara only says it's like a toyeva. The Gemara does not say it's like your Oyvid Avid Zara. Okay. And so if you are not able to be Madar of Nehamelech, your, your tefillah is not effective. And even if the Zman tefillah passed, then the halach is your mashlamid afterwards, like a din of a shagik. So we're up to the Rama. Sivka, the Rama says, Vadin kriya shema kedin tefillah. The din of shema is like shema nesrei. Avoshar brachos, other brachos, yachal levarech afa pishu shikar. You're allowed to make, or you're allowed to make even though you're drunk. So that's interesting to know. Other brachos you're allowed to make even though you're drunk. Says Mishmaro, Vadin kriya shema. Uberchos kriya shema gam kein dinam kriya shema. The dinam of kriya shema have the same din as kriya shema. To me, that's very interesting because uh, I was just in a situation on two occasions where I was misupic whether I should daven or not. On the way to Australia, think about this, on the way to Australia, you have a situation where the day changes, but there's no new sunrise. It's a new day. You cross the time zone, your timeline. Not just the international timeline, you crossed a halachic timeline. It was Monday, and then it becomes Tuesday. Do I need to daven chakras again? So that's a change in calendar date or weekday without a change in sunrise. On the way back at the opposite, where there was no change in the day, in the calendar day, but there was a new sunrise. So when I'm coming back from Australia to California, so I'm going from day into the night, so I'm experiencing a new sunrise, but it's still, the whole time it was still uh, Sunday. So basically, both of those are sveikos, whether you daven again, okay? So I'm going to say Shema, Suffolk Darei Yisrael Chumrah. I'm not going to say Baruch Shamar Yishtabach, because I can't make a bracha mi Suffolk. But Birchaz Kriya Shema, okay, you would make. I, Suffolk Brachas Lahakel, Birchaz Kriya Shema, go along with Kriya Shema. So if I'm saying Shema, once I'm a chuyiv to say Shema, we had this before, I'm a chuyiv to say Birchaz Kriya Shema. I'll tell you the truth, I wasn't able to because there wasn't enough time in that small amount of time between sunrise and, and landing, but I could have, okay? So, whatever. I'm just telling you, this Mishnah Bura says that Dine Birchas, so in other words, other brachos you can make as a shikr, not Birchas Krishma. Birchas Krishma will usually have the same din as Krishma itself. Okay. Kedin Tfila. Hainu da'af shasoy asr l'charchila b'krishma. That is, someone who's drunk, l'charchila can't say Shema. V'alavush kasav, d'yesh makilim b'kri Shema. So, in other words, what does it mean it has a din of tefillah? That l'charchila, a shikar, can't say Shema. V'alavush says there are those who are lenient with Shema. Afim hu shikar. Why? D'shani tefillah shuba koshas tzrachav. Tefillah is different because you're requesting your needs. V'chein kasav b'lkutei haramban b'soifai. I would have said a different reason why we're, we could be makal by Krishma. Because by Krishma, it's not Oymed Lefnei HaMelech. We had this many times. When you daven Shema Nesrei, you're Oymed Lefnei HaMelech. By Krishma, you're not Oymed Lefnei HaMelech. 
So maybe you could say Shema as a drunk. I'm not sure why that svar is not used over here. Mendy will write down the question. Well, if he dvarav, <laughs> and, according, and according to uh, the words of the, okay, I'm sorry, uh, second line, Achin bever hagra, herchiv levair devei hayu shalmi, sheyish b'inyinze, the gra uh, explains this yushalmi at length, well, if he dvarav, according to his words, maskanas hayu shalmi, lasar shikar b'kriyashma. The maskanas hayu shalmi is to asar a shikar and shema. Al kein yesh lizar l'charchila. Therefore, you should be careful l'charchila. Shaloi lavoi lidei kach. That you do not come to this, namely to say to be in a state of shichros when it comes to shema. V'diyeved im neshtaker. V'diyeved if you were drunk, ain lift our sasim with kriyas shema. Do not exempt yourself from kriyas shema. Mishum zeh. Like the Magen Avram says in Simon Kovpei regarding Berchus Hamazon. Now I don't know why he's invoking Berchus Hamazon because Berchus Hamazon are Shar Brachos, and Shar Brachos. You are, the Ramah says you are allowed to say if you're drunk. We'll see in a minute what the Dershu says. If the wine, if the effects wore off. Before the Zman Krishma passed, then you should uh, say over the parashas. In other words, if you said Shema as a shikar, and then the effects of the wine wore off, then say Shema again. Now, mm hmm. Right. But would the second thing apply where you're not able to be on What? For sure, but but So I'm saying why? When um So that when the Lavush says Yesh Makil Makrishma Afshim Shikar that's only if it's Yachal Adaber But if it's Eino Yachal Adaber, then he wouldn't be lenient? I'm not sure. Um, because he's saying Shema is like Shema Esrei. The Levur says, no, you could be lenient by Kriya Shema. He doesn't say that's only if it's Yachal Adaber And I'm Why don't we have a lenient, leniency by Shema that you're not oimed lefnei amelach? By the way, when when um, we say b'diavet, if you got drunk, don't pat yourself from kriya Shema. What about berchos kriya Shema? Rosh Hashanah says don't make because they're drabanan. Why? But you're allowed to make other brachos if you're a dr if you're a shikar. Um, now, he, the Mishabura says that you should not be lenient regarding Shema, similar to what the Magen Avram says regarding Berchus Hamazon. Where the, the Magen Avram says, since Berchus Hamazon died, you should say it. Um, okay. Let's see what the halach is by Shar Brachis. Avo Shar Brachis, you could be Mavarich even though you're a Shikar. Kalal Baza Av Brachis Amazon Shidai So this includes even benching, which is Dairais. Vain Le Kamal Sim Kopehe of Mashuka Sabti. Sham Yachal Lavarich. Avo In Mit Sarf Naisal Minyan Asara. You can make it. But if a guy is a shikar, he's not part of the minion. Ulinian Shlesh Zeman F Shad Shari. It could be, he could be Mit Sarif for a Zeman. Shehu shikar, even though you're shikar, I'm b'ber hagra. Ulafid varav, yesh. Look in the b'ber hagra. The b'ber hagra is machmer by shar brachis. Ulafid varav yesh la hachmer lechachila b'shikar sheni yachal adar b'lefnei amelach af b'shar brachis. According to the gra, a shikar is not able to be madar b'lefnei amelach. We're machmer even by shar brachis. Now, you're allowed to learn Torah when you're a shikar or a shasoi, 
but you can't pass him. Chen kasev prim gadol yaradeh siman alef siv katan lamed hey b'mishvet zois zahav that you should not say um, brachos if you're eno yachal adav lefnei amach. V'chol zeh kishalai higel shichrusa shalait. All of this is if you're not a shikar like light. Dilav hachi otherwise kishoyta yichashav legam lekolyama. Everyone would say you're like an imbecile. Upater az mikala mitzvahs and you're exempt from all mitzvahs. Al kein afil b'di eved. Different even b'di evedim kara az uberich loy mifter bekach. If you said shema then, or you made a bracha, you're not exempt. Sharei pater hayu b'sasha because at that time you are pater v'chayv achag lachs of lekros levarich, and you would have to repeat whatever. It is you did at that time. Okay, sivda sivbeis. The there are ways to have the effects of your wine wear off, namely if you walk a mill or if you sleep. So derech mill, walking a mill, which is eighteen minutes, v'shena koshehu, or a little bit of sleep, mefigin es hayayin. It wears off the effect of wine. Mahani mila kishashas ravias. That's only if you drank. Or a vias or less. Avlam shasa yois. If you drank more, koshikain sheshena mishakartai v'derech tayradatai. Then certainly the sleep makes you more drunk, and the walking makes you more confused. Vahani mili b'mahalch beraglav. This that walking exacerbates the effects of wine if you drank more than Ravias, that's if you walk on your feet. But if you're riding on an animal, then the riding does we uh, cause the effects of the wine to wear off. Says the Mishnah Brewah, A derech mil, which is mifigin, it causes the effects to wear off, that is whether you're walking or riding. And some say when you ride, it's only three mil. Sleep will make, if you drank more than the Ravias, will make you more drunk. That's a little bit of sleep. If you drink a lot, if you sleep a lot, it will cause the effects to wear off. Another itza to remove the effects of wine, the Shulchanach brings later on in Simon Shin Chavchas, that. You should anoint the palms of your hand and feet with oil and salt, or you should smoke tobacco. Why? Not sure. Probably because smoking tobacco kills you. So once you're dead, you won't be able to be drunk. But you still might have a hard time. Uh, you still might have a hard time uh, davening. Anyway, the Kavachim says you could drink vinegar. That does it every time. Or eat cabbage or bitter almonds. Fine. Avaroichev, <clears throat> but riding will definitely be mefig the yain she'en loy tarach kolchach. That it's not such an occupation. See, walking is harder. So if you drank a lot, it uh, will make you more drunk. Not so riding on an animal. Um, and here the Mishnah points out, "Vuhu sharachav shloisha mila." That's if you ride three mil. We come up with hakolafi roiv hayayin. It all depends how much wine you had. Shem here belish tesmoid. If you drank really a lot, ain't darach shloisha mila mefigasai. The walk is not going to uh, cause the effects to wear off. Sif gimel. Kol echad shu shasoi sagile lefimash magish benavshes shiaf againai. Anyone who is drunk, it's enough. In accordance with. How he feels he is able to dilute the effects of the wine. Haga, meaning it's a personal thing, it's very subjective, and it's uh, dependent on many considerations. Therefore, nowadays, we are not that careful with our wines, which are like, you know, they're like grape juice. Nowadays, if you drank more than Ravius, you could daven. So that's interesting because we saw in the in the gra the gra is machmer by shar brachis. The gra is machmer by shar brachis. So the question is, you know, nowadays let's say by the seder, somebody drank four cups of wine. So then what? You can't make the bracha achroina on the fourth cup because you're you're a, a half a shikar according to the gra. With the gra say you can't make that bracha l'chay or not. Why? Because our wines, you know, you have this Ramah to rely on. Our wines are not that strong, 
and we daven even if you drank more than Ravias. For kosher kein mesvel mitoch siddur should be other. Certainly, if you daven in a siddur, shein choyshishin l'shichras maat. We're not worried about a little drunkenness kainerily. Says uh, the Rama, v'lachein ein zekoy ashasoy. This is going on someone who drank wine. Shein boy iserb ella lecharchila. Someone who drank wine is only usher to daven lecharchila. We said shasayayin. Al Yispalel, he shouldn't dive in Lecharchila. So him, we say, that Bezman Hazeh, our wines are not so strong, and you could dive in Lecharchila. Avul Beshikr, Shatzulaz Ta'eva, someone who's drunk, whose tefillah is an abomination, Vada Yeshu Zara Filo Didan, certainly you should be careful even for us, Vitzach Lachsar Ula Yispalel. I don't think uh, people at a Seder have a din of a shikr. You know, they're not a shikr. Even though you may have drank you know, you drank before the meal a Ravias, or ro- even less sometimes Roy Ravias. Then you had a whole meal. So what are you dealing with already? You're dealing with the third and the fourth cup. I don't think. If you're a shikar after the third and the fourth cup, pal, you know, man it up. I don't think you should be a shikar after a three kais, gimel, and dalad. So then, l'chadchilo, you could, you could rely on the Ramah. That what? That our wines are not so strong. She'ein choyshishen. Hainu liya'ah. Says Rama, says Mishabura, Hainaliyah Shev Haminag. That's to answer the custom that people are lenient. It's still not correct. To Davin after more than Ravis. Kasabiyam Shal Shon Perg Bezabeya of Yamtav Yachal Spal Minchaf Abisha Shar Success. On Yamtav you could Davin, even though you drank a little bit. The Yev Shal Hamtanat Shiafa Genoi. There's no way to really wait until the wine wears off. Prosh Genoi Idna, and certainly nowadays the Balav Hachi in Mechavnan Kalkach. Nowadays, anyway, we don't have so much kavana. She'ein lahakbid b'shasoi. You don't have to be makbid if somebody drank wine. The Am Shoshoma also says that since on Yom Tov there's a mitzvah l'smayach, Hashem will be makabel your tefillah even in such a matzav. Since you're sameach v'toivleiv b'simchasoi shalmakayim. So the question is, would that apply to Purim? Let's say somebody drank on Purim. Now, if he's a shikar, tefillah say toyeva. But if somebody just drank, drank a lot of wine, and now they want to daven marav, so could we say they were being mekayim the mitzvah? They have a chiyuv of, of adol yada. Okay, they could have followed the mishabura to drink ma'ad yoyser milimudam, but there are opinions to drink adol yada. So could the person who's a shasoi? Davin in such a state, according to the Yam Shal Shloimai, that on Yom Tif there's a mitzvah l'smayach. Or you could say, on Yom Tif there's a mitzvah midairaisa. And actually, it's not a mitzvah, it's a chiyav. On Yom Tif it's a chiyav to have yayin. It's a mitzvah to eat meat, it's a chiyav to have yayin. So then, Hashem will be makabal your tefillah. On Purim, even though there's also a chiyav, there's no chiyav to do the shear of more than ma'at yosemili mudai. But you could rely on that. In other words, if somebody drinks a lot on Purim, they're not drunk. If you're drunk, you can't dive in. No way around it. But you're just a little bit high. L'chaira, there's a yam shel to rely on that it's l'chaira, that it's a mitzvah l'smayach. Okay. Okay, Rabbi, so we'll hold it over here and we'll pick it up tomorrow in Sif Simen Kof. Okay? Where? where? Yeah. Oh. I missed that. Thank you. So, Yom Tif, um, is, um, Purim is like Yom Tif. Why? Very good. Shkoyach. Thank you. Shkoyach. So, Mangi Varam says, Purim is like Yom Tif. So l'chayra, you have both reasons. You have the reason of e'ev shalahamten. I mean, the perm suda is over, so now what? I'm not going to be able to wait until the wine wears off. And number two, l'may sets a mitzvah. We also have the weaker wine. We also don't have kavana, we also have the weaker wine. Yeah, 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 for sure. But according to the Gra, back in the day when they didn't have the weaker wine. Or for those who drink other things on perm other than yayin. The thing is, then you don't, there's no mitzvah to do that. There's no Indian to do that. So you don't have you don't have the reason of uh, the mitzvah. Yeah, what? What do you say on, according to the draw, in the times when the wine wasn't weak, when we had real 
online time for tomorrow, but what do you face that night? After four crises, and as soon as you see you that have in this year, you have you, you, four giant, giant crises of wine. I assume at the end of the night, it's really sick of you, we all, uh, can't make it broke off right now. Well, you mean the guy's a shicker, or? Also, according to the Gra, by the way, it's only Eino Yachad Arlefemech, and it's only Lechat Chila. But Lemaisa, Pesach night, it's already B'Diyavet. You have to drink the wine. So, like, what are you going to do? Lechar, that's a, a situation of B'Diyavet. He would agree, he would agree, he would agree, he would agree, he the Chumra of the Gra that Char Brachas are like uh, Tefillah is only a Charchila. So, you know, in this type of situation, it could be it's Bidiyav, what are you supposed, you know, you have no choice. You have to drink the wine. Okay, Rabbi Say, have a good day, everyone. Kaltov. Recording stopped.